until, until, you know, until is a powerful word. Until is, is an empowering or disempowering word. Until it has so much wrapped inside of it that you don't even know how powerful it is until you really reflect and think about it. Now, how can that be? How can a, a word so small, just five letters, how can a word so small control so much of what we do? I'll tell you how I found out how powerful until was. You see, like many of you, I too felt trapped. I too felt victim to the until syndrome, to the until disease. That is, I, 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 I can't do that until. I can't have this until. I can't become that or this until. Right? I can't go back to school until my kids are out of school. Right? I can't lose weight until my schedule slows down. I can't do this, I can't do that until this or that happens. It's debilitating, right? And we all succumb and give in and, 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 and be a victim to that powerful word, that powerful disease of until. And so I realized that, I realized that for much of my life I had been using until as a crutch. I had been using until as an excuse. I had been using until as a protective layer between me and what I knew and what I know I should be. And so it kept me at bay. It kept me from jumping into my purpose. It kept me from jumping into my plan. It kept me from becoming what I'm supposed to be, what God meant for me to be in many, many ways, but most importantly, and most recently in my speaking endeavor, I told myself, Bobby, I, I can't do videos until I fix my speech. I can't do on stage presentations until I fix how I look. I can't do this or that until this becomes true. But I stopped doing that. And I want you to stop using until as a crush. I want you to take until that powerful five letter word, I want you to take until and put it in a box. And put it in a box until you are grown up enough to use it for good. Until you are grown up and mature enough to use it for your greatness. Put that word until in a box. Until you're ready. Well, when will you be ready? I'm gonna tell you when you're ready. When you make a decision to be great, when you make a decision to walk into your purpose, when you make a decision to stop making excuses, when you make a decision to stop making excuses, that's when you are ready to move forward. And then when you decide, I'm not gonna quit, I'm not gonna give up, then go back to that box. Go back to that box that you put until in and take until back out, but this time, we're mature. This time we've grown up. This time we're ready. This time we're ready to fight the fight. With maturity, with strength, with courage. And now we can use until not as a crutch, not as an excuse, but as an empowering word. Because now we tell ourselves, I'm not gonna stop hunting my greatness. I'm not gonna stop trying to be a better version of myself until I get there. I'm not stopping until I make it. I'm not gonna stop trying to be a millionaire until I become a millionaire. I'm not gonna stop trying to lose weight and be fit until I become the best version of me. So we stop using until as a crutch that prevents us from moving forward and then we start using it as a strength and a courage that tells our soul and our spirit, I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up until I make it. It's that simple. How long would it take? It don't matter. I'm not quitting. How long before I lose weight? It don't matter. I'm not quitting. How long before I get my bond with my child right? Or my bond with my soulmate right? It don't matter. I'm going to do it until it works. I'm going to do it until it's fixed. I'm going to do it until I'm right. I'm going to do it until I become the version of me I'm meant to be. Until it's simple, it's simple. Stop using it 
as a preventative measure. Stop using it as protection from what scares you. I know it scares you, it scares me. So stop saying I can't do this or that until put it in the box. Get your mind right, get your soul right, get your spirit right. Start hunting your greatness. And then when you make a decision to go and be what you should be, you tell yourself, I'm not quitting. I'm not stopping. I'm not giving up. I'm not turning back. I'm not, I'm not any of that until I make it.